fancy, funny name, lose something. Um, <laughs> I'm tired of paying this guy's uh, salary. Salary? Yeah. You know, like, he's not in college yet. You're, you're just paying his salary at this rate? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Because he goes to college next year, so I think. I what? hope he's using it for college. That makes me feel better. At I don't least. think he is. Let's oh, be honest. Man. I feel like he still uses it for McDonald's. Funny name. Give me a thumbs up if you use your winnings for McDonald's. Okay, he's not paying attention. I think he's trying to pick his, figure out uh, what Pokemon he's gonna use exactly. Against All right, that that's fair. He can, he can, he can take it seriously every <laughs> once in a while. So, with Funny Name, you do see the Nile Ape, uh, Garchomp, Godingo, Hydreigon, Mousehold, and Murkrow. And then for Nerd Ninja, you have Farafarig. Farafarig. I can't, re- I can't remember the name of that Pokemon, but it's the Snom Evolution. Oh, it's... Um, it's cute. I think the Snom, Snom is cute. I don't know about that one. I literally then the, just the name. The Salty Giant, Gargantual something. Uh, Mousehold again, Mouscarada, and Sylveon. Frostmoth, thank there you. There we go. I was like, Thank you, Zayul, Frost? too. <laughs> Paul, Paul cheated, and he told me, but I think he <laughs> cheated because he read your message before I did. Oh, wow. He said he doesn't want to read. All right. So now this is honestly an interesting uh, team load out for Nerd Ninja, if I'm completely honest. Like, I have seen um, – I literally just drew a blank on the on the rock type Pokemon, uh, and I actually use it in my team, so I don't know why I'm drawing a blank right now. But I have seen that in competitive play, but most of the Pokemon I have not seen, except for Meowskarada, because of its uh, special move that Meowskarada gets. It is pretty pretty broken, if I'm honest, because it crits every single time. Yeah, um, I wait. It crits every time. It crits every single time. If you use Meowth out as a uh, special move, it crits every single time. So always 1.5 times damage on top of, like, how does that calculation work with weaknesses? So uh, straight, like, grass attack against water right. would, because it's, it's already 1.5 times damage, right? And then technically it's a four time uh, weakness. Well, well, no, it's just a two times weakness. No, because it's four times. Water is just two times weak to grass is it only t- you know a four times weakness only comes into play when they're when both types are like obama snow is two no times no weak that's not fire. always true like if it's a straight out like type disadvantage it can go for no i'm not no i'm not even gonna say it I'm <laughs> chat prove me wrong get in the chat prove me right all right we're into it up first we're going to see funny name come out with his, uh, oh, okay, he's coming out with the, uh, I'm trying to figure out which side is which, <laughs> Murkrow <laughs> and Garchomp, yes. and uh, we're seeing Nerd Ninja with the Farafarig and the, the big salty guy. So, okay, so I actually just realized this about uh, Gar- Garga Nalkal. Yeah. It's literally Garga Salt. Yeah, I know. I, I just Gargant salt, like it's gargantuan, yeah. but it's salt. That's why I called it salty boy. Well, no, because it just hit me because it's NACL. NACL. I'm like, oh right, duh. Like, yeah, all of this. That's why I called him salty. Boy. He literally the move is called salt cruel. Salt cure. <laughs> Get it right. Oh, <laughs> salt cruel sounds cooler. All right, we're seeing dazzling gleam come out. This is the first time I've seen Raphrig actually at all. I haven't not even seen him in my game either. Uh, that's cool though, because I think that's a cool Pokemon. Uh, also very cute. Uh, the move does not affect Shy Guy because it is a an earthquake. Fine type ignores it. Get oh. caught up on the game real quick. <laughs> also, shout outs to uh, Funny Man because I just realized all of his names of his Pokemon are people from his Mario cartoon. I, I, I hate I nicknames, ju- bro. I, <laughs> I literally just look. I was like, Guy Shy, and then one of them said uh, Cracker MK, which is Cracko. So, yeah, I was like, oh, it's his Mario Kart team that he's on. Ooh, okay. Zayul did drop a little piece of knowledge in chat. He said Mega JKZ is definitely wrong just because uh, <laughs> he didn't actually say that, but I'm saying that on his behalf because I know he's right. Oh, my uh, But he did say crits ignore stat drops and opponent's stat boosts. Well, I never said that. We, I, were, we were arguing on I'm not. I'm, four, not, I'm just telling you what he told me. I just think that's an interesting tidbit. I didn't know that. <laughs> 
Okay. As a long-time Pokemon player, I didn't know that it ignored stat drops and stat boost. That, or, uh, stat boost. That's, that is interesting to me. That That is fair, but I was like... We're seeing the taunt. But it does come out a little bit too late because yeah, the Y guard already, already, come, already came out. But this means they can't use it after after that. But the Hyper Voice is going to get blocked by the Protect, but it is going to take out the Murkrow. Mm -hmm. That is unfortunate for Funny Name. But I mean, it is 3 3 right now in terms of how many Pokemon both of them do have. That Throat Spray, I assume that only takes effect when you use a voice based attack. Yes. <laughs> that is so funny. So, so is that a one time or a double t or a two times stat boost? He doesn't know. Uh, that is okay. The way he looked at me, that was like a, I don't know. No, oh, I was looking at you because I was laughing at the name mm -hmm. that he made Go Dingo. So. Sports Joseph won. <laughs> Let's go. We love Sports Joseph won up in this house. We we do. This is a Sports Joseph household yeah. in this arena right now. But as you can see, like again, both of them are pretty much even right now. No one's really making that big little play, big little like oh jump against each other. But you do see the tear finally come out for the guard shot. I was questioning when this is going to come out. Like. Yeah, both players were holding off on uh, sending out their uh, Terra typing. It's another Terra ground. Uh, we're going to see the Protect come out, which I think means we're about to see an Earthquake. But the Body Press coming out is going to do quite a bit of damage. Not enough. The Rough Skin is going to hurt the Garganel. Gargasalt. <laughs> and now we're going to have a Terra Blast. Kills oh. the Garchomp, so that is unfortunate. You tear it and you don't get to actually use it. Yeah, that is a little interesting because uh, it's based on the Terra Shard, but even then, it wasn't Terra yet, so right. it was well, a normal. He, had, he did hold off on Terraing his, uh, his. Why well, can't I run in that Pokemon all of a sudden? Garchomp? Garchomp, thank yeah. you. I was going to say Garganol, and I'm like, that's wrong too. <laughs> um, he held off for a while, presumably because he didn't know if he was going to use it or commit to it and it looked like he finally committed and it was a little too late right because i mean i feel like once he saw the sylveon now he was like okay hold on i kind of need type protection right now like he did use that protect and survive but you can't use protect twice mm -hmm. so kind of i learned you can you just have a very low percent chance of it working a well, second time <laughs> you can't use it in a competitive uh, setting you can't use protect types in a competitive setting yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That, that was not what I heard last week. That's really? Me. Yeah, that's used to me. Did oh. it? Okay. I because I'll buy from what? Because from when I when I played, it was like you cannot use protect twice. Sylveon's going out with the Terra Blast, going to take out Sports Joseph. Easy clap. <laughs> that One, fire type really destroying <laughs> uh, Joey. And Thank now the Flash Cannon is not going to do any damage against that Sylveon, which is now Fire-type. And again, you're going to see Garganacle. Garganacle. <laughs> Garganacle. I'm not going to be able to say it uh, every single time. Garganacle is what I'm going to commit to. Um, you're not going to – you're pretty much you're going to see him almost at full health again. So now yeah. you're back at square one. I mean, this game seems pretty – Pretty tough. Uh, it's only, yeah, it's just funny name. This last one. Like, Craig, Flash Cannon, not gonna do enough. See, that Flash Cannon would have been perfect last turn on yeah. Garden versus on the Sylvia. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Bobby going down, funny name, losing game one. I, lo I love his uh, profile picture that he has for his uh, trainer card. I didn't see it. It's Quacksire. It's literally just a Quacksire face. Just <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so Funny Name is now down 1-0 to Nerd Ninja. And, again, you said Funny Name DMG you said that he's not good. So Yeah, he did admit that to me. Um but Nerd Ninja, this is Nerd Ninja's very first Pokemon game ever. Wait, that is, is what I I that is the story I had heard prior to this event. Uh, is that Nerd Ninja has never played a Pokemon game before Scarlet Violet? Wow. Yeah. I mean, hey, that's wild. Like, because uh, my little cousin, he finally got into Pokemon uh, from Legends Ar Arceus. So being able to see him now to, be like, oh, I want to play all the past games. I'm like. 
I love you so much right now. Just let me know which game you want because I have every every single Pokemon game so far. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, I see there was an <laughs> issue with the lobby. Oh, no. Who broke the lobby? Do, uh, do we blame funny name? I what? think it was uh, No Meta Nick. Yeah. I mean, he... He did start a conspiracy theory uh, from Knockdown, so I I can agree. Blame No Man Nick, which I still think that's actually funny because I'm like I don't think they realize what the actual Knockdown logo is. Can I get <laughs> Nerd Ninja to change his resolution to full screen? No, because it's off by like pixels. He has the 97 percent. <laughs> I know because on one of my TVs it is 100%, and on the other TV it is 97%. Oh my god. It has something to do with the resolution, and it makes me a sad man. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. All my all my TVs are always at 100% anytime I plug in my Switch, so. Your TVs give 100% all the time, bro. Bro, dad. Bro, you're, you're, <laughs> uh, your TV's kind of, kind of goaded. Yeah, bro, dad. They're super litty, you know. Don't ever talk like that. <laughs> How dare you? I'm like, I'm sorry. All right, so, you know, they're getting their teams reset. They're getting the lobby reset, so. They're currently picking what they're what they're going to be going into this first match with. We won't Second match. Quite, sorry, did I say first? Yep, we okay. first well, match. This next match. Very exciting. I love the AJ Cam. AJ Cam is hype. AJ Cam is the best cam on God. Just on God. <laughs> for real, for real. But then if we um, miss the Jacob Cam. Do miss Jacob Cam. Yeah. He'll be back this week. Yes, sir. All right. We are going into game two. Up first, Bobby's going to send out his Golden Go and his mouse hold. And we're going to see from Nerd Ninja his Farafarig and Garganackle. And now you do see, uh, again, with the mouse hold, like, again, I think that's a cool evolution that they got. It was such a, uh, it's, just, it's a family. It's a little family. I have a love-hate relationship with it. Uh, from an evolution standpoint, it makes no sense. We're just seeing the wide guard come out. But it just, like, it doesn't it just really make any sense. I mean, okay, okay. Does it? How does, does it? You just, get, you just get more. It's like, it's like at least... Diglett getting two extra heads and Doug Trio is like, we don't know what's going on underground. Maybe it is just one okay, thing. Okay, okay, but, but think about it. You know what? Birds and the beads. Yeah, but that's not... Po that's not but that's... It, it is! They're literally that's walking like if, around. They're that's like if I said, me hanging out with you by my side is... <laughs> is suddenly <laughs> an evolutionary advantage. But, but Kevin, think uh, about... Actually, it. you know what? It is... I changed my mind. It is an evolutionary advantage to have popu having more people. Is I mean, it's, it's probably an evolutionary advantage for me over, over you, but that, that's a different, different story for another day. And now you will be seeing the switch out into the Sylveon. So now in the series where you're going to have to follow me, go with the mouse hold. So this means that all the attacks are going to be directed to the mouse hold. Going to see the body press. It is super effective. Maybe that wasn't what they wanted, but we are going to see them make it rain. That is a ton of damage coming out. Taking out both players, the special attack falls. It is only a one-stage attack fall, so that's uh. And that's why I'm like, I, I love it because I'm like, it's literally it's only one stage, and it's like, if you use it's it again. Broken. That Pokemon, that Pokemon's broken. And it took out both. Like that's that's insane right yeah. now because now it's like you're currently at the heavy advantage right now. You're four to two at the moment. Does does taunt not taunts right? What? The um, the center of attention. Follow me. Well, follow me. Follow me Does that still carry through with new Pokemon or no? If I remember, I thought it was only with the Pokemon that were out. So I'm not sure. So we'll have to see how that kind of plays out. But like, cause I believe it's only for the Pokemon that that were out. Cause like right cause now, now it's once just they're dead, it's this Meowth Grab is going to be able to attack whoever they want. Okay, we're gonna see Terra type come out. I think, yeah, it's Terra type Golden Go. I think he's gonna go straight Steel. Yep. So he's gonna get the stab. There's gonna be a lot of damage coming out on that. Uh, make it rain. Uh, it also prevents him from taking additional damage from any typing. <laughs> the paralyze on the forever oh, wait, is unfortunate. Is it doing it again? This oh, no. could be it. Sports Joseph going, <laughs> taking out the Verafrig. Cucumber only sticking around because it's got the Focus Sash. 
Oh my god, okay, Sports Joey, sorry, Sports Joseph is actually very clutching it out right now for Kony. And with still having four Pokemon left, and Mouse can still attack, uh, getting the Paralyze off, so now this is you pretty much. Unfortunate. You and it's paralyzed. Oh, no, it did get the knockoff. Protean oh, transformed into dark type, but it wasn't enough. That is why he Terra types Steel to prevent that from taking out the Golden Go. This is an unfortunate circumstance to be in for Nerd Ninja. But now, also at the same time, it took off its life orb, so now it's not going to do as much damage as it was doing. But then again, it's, it's only at 1 HP, so... You it didn't go. need to do any damage, it, it just needs to do anything at all. Literally anything at all. I think at this rate, it's like, alright, do I just stall or do I just, you know, just take the L right now? Wait, why is the top? Did you want to take that? I thought he did. No. Oh, no, because they got, they, got, they got eliminated too fast. <laughs> My bad. Uh, we are going to see the grass uh, Terra type come into play. Uh, we're going to see knockoff again. Still not enough. Shadow Ball coming out. That is going to be game two going to funny name. All right, so that's, that's one one. That's our first one one. It is our first one one, and that gold dangle dingo. <laughs> is, is it gold dingo or is it gold? I always said it was golden go, like golden ghost. Actually, yeah, no, I think you're right. Yeah, go, golden go. Yeah, yeah, that sounds more right. I've been saying gold dingo. And both of them fine. I mean, that's yeah. fine. You do what you want. Hey, do. until the anime comes out with the actual Pokemon pronunciation, I I don't want to. Hear I mean, it. you can't pronounce them right anyway. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that was the straight roast. I probably didn't need to. Probably didn't need to roast you so hard. Man, why why you do this to me, Kevin? Yeah, actually, okay. I mean, it's also it's the same thing with like uh, Arceus or Arceus. Like, how do you, how do you say? It? Do you say Arceus or do you say Arceus? Um, I say Arceus, but I know it is Arceus now. Okay, Rayquaza. Do you say Rayquaza or, or Rayquaza? Rayquaza. I'm like it's the one that used to get me was uh, Suicune. I. How did you say Suicune? Suicune. It's not even remotely <laughs> phonetically correct. I'm like, but that is how childhood Kevin interpreted that okay. name. I just see S-U-I, and I was like, S-U-I-C-I, and I'm like, ha, I got it. It's I don't even think it is. That. I don't even, it's not even C-I, it's C-U. It just, that's it's just how my brain worked. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I guess, I, I guess that works. I never knew Suicune was ever pronounced No way. That's like That's not an easy name. It's not, but at the That's same, not just, like, basic knowledge. I, I don't know. Maybe me as a kid, I never pronounced Suicune as anything else. I, I feel like Suicune is difficult, you know? And I didn't watch the anime as a kid. I don't think they pronounced it right in the anime anymore. I mean, if we really think about it, half the times when they, any time they say any of the Pokemon names in the anime, I just sit there and I'm like, this is not how you say it. All right. We are seeing... The same composition come out of Nerd Ninja. We're going to see the wide guard making sure that the Farafari gets its first ability off. We're seeing the Thunder Wave, which is a good read by Funny Name, knowing that the wide guard is coming up. The Farafari is going to try. The Sports Joseph with the nasty plot. Oh, oh no. He is funny. setting up. Funny Name read that. Oh, the trick room. The trick room is going to come in handy because especially Farafarig being paralyzed, Farafarig now gets to go first. Ooh, that is pretty interesting. Last time we saw this, Farafarig did bail. So we're going to see if that happens again. It, it looks like we are going to see another attack. I'm not sure. I, I think... I think, yeah, okay, okay, so we do get the switch out, and then we will be seeing Sylveon come out. Yeah. So now Sylveon's back, back into the mix. I see another wide, wide guard. guard. Okay. So wide guard doesn't have the same uh, properties as protect, I see, or is it just got a better success chance on the second go round? I think, I think it still has a better success chance. Okay. I well, think. that's really broken. And <laughs> uh, Sylveon comes out. How did that so, hit? what was that? If I remember, uh, I believe in the past, like Super Fang, Hyper Fang, they always went through um, those attacks. I don't know why, but I did not know. Uh, we are going to see the Terra type again to fire uh, for the Sylveon. Um, I don't know if we have 
protect. I, actually, you know, what? I think white guard may only protect from special attacks or physical attacks. I don't remember. I, I think it's like I think that's the trade off. Well, if it's protecting from physical attacks, that shouldn't have protected. Get in the comments and tell us why. Because my hyperfang is literally physical attack. Mm, yeah, that's why I'm not sure. Sylveon's gonna do the Terror Blast, gonna try it, not gonna work. It was a good attempt, because we are worried about that support to Joseph. Uh, we have to see... But, okay, now this is my question. Why would you paralyze Sylveon, and now Sylveon is Sylveon? Wide Guard faster. makes it so moves that hit both of the Pokemon. Oh, it just oh, prevents that. So that's okay. why you can do it so many times. So, like, blizzards don't work. So that's why he's Wide Guard, because he's trying to prevent the make it rain right now. That it makes a lot of sense. But, uh, now, but now with me. the follow me is going to prevent him from doing that. The center of attention goes to the consort. But this actually saves Fire Man now because the Terror Blast is going to hit also. Yep. Yeah, this is uh, that's really smart from Funny Name. Um, he is playing this kind of perfectly right now. Make it rain's not going to keep going through. Uh, but I, now, but now this is where both both of them are in a weird situation right now because it's like okay. Now your Terror Blast is not going to be hitting uh, Sports Joseph. It's mm -hmm. going to be hitting Mouse because of the follow me. Mm -hmm. And then Make It Rain is not able to attack because of the wide guard that's coming out. So what do you do at this rate? Well, I actually think this might have been a mistake from Funny Name. We're going to see. No, the wide guard. Okay, so it's, it doesn't act like a taunt. So it's still good. Uh, he's going to Terra Blast. It's not going to work. Oh, the follow, oh, follow me, me only, only one turn. One taunt. All right. Well, okay. Now I feel stupid. So third away is not going to affect uh, Garg Garganarkle because of its ability. So that is going to be pretty good for Nerd Ninja. But again, this is literally a stall fest between both of them. Yeah, they are just trying to see who makes the wrong decision first. Uh, we saw that when Funny Name, is, like whenever he gets that move off, it is going to do enough. Like at this point, Funny Name has the advantage. Unless Sylveon can take out um, uh, the mouse hole here. So I feel like this hyper voice is going to come That's out. That's pretty good, but it wasn't <laughs> enough. Oh my god, this is going to go into the stall fest, guys. And it is going to get healed. No, oh wait, it's a throat spray, so it's going to yeah. give it a boost in the special attack right now because of it using hyper voice. Yeah, this is kind of just really uh, I, I don't know if anyone's particularly winning here because I would say that I, I, I have faith in Nerd Ninja but with the paralysis I just don't know what's going to happen you know uh, right now the goal is to take out the mouse hold um, I think it, I, almost at all costs but we have to get that wide guard yeah, yeah he's just got to keep it going like he's got to protect himself from the golden go uh, quick yeah. attack coming out with no paralysis. That is going to be pretty awesome uh, for... Uh, oh, wait. There we go. Finally, a one-hit move. It is going to be Shadow Ball. So now they're both going to be at even. It's going to be three to three Pokemon left right now. Yeah. Funny name, he, he, saw, he kept seeing the stall from the wide guard. He's like, okay, look, if you're not going to let me use to make it rain right now, all right, I'm just going to get Sylveon down to a low enough health to where all I need is just one hit. Right. Well, we have to see what's going to happen next. So we do... This is going to be interesting. I don't know exactly what this mouse hold has available to it, even though I know it's on my screen. I don't want to dox anybody. Um, oh, I guess, though, the, the players have it. Okay. So we do know what Mousehold has available, but right now it's just about like if, if this Sports Joseph gets it off, it is going to be real tough. And uh, and this is where, like, you know, again, it's, this is a weird situation because now it's like, okay, if he doesn't wide guard, then Fighting Day can pull off and make it rain. But we do see a terror come out from Fighting Day's side. It is going to be Hydra God, and it's going to be the still type, right? It's going to be still, yep. Oh, that is going to be huge because as we saw, I believe we did see. There was a read here. Uh, okay, so I think there was a double attempt here. I think uh, Nerd Ninja tried really hard to read both sides of this. Um, 
with the Super Fang going on Golden Go, hoping that maybe he can Terra type there. And then the Garganockle is going to Body Press. But it's not enough. Oh, I mean, it's half his health, so that's a lot. It's but half, and then it's going to fill up with <laughs> leftovers. Oh, only 12, but I mean, it's something. It's yeah, better something. than nothing. That is true. And now this is where, again, like, when you're, I feel like Funny Name right now is currently in the driver's seat. Uh, Funny Name made Nerd Ninja pretty much have to play the stalling game with wide guards. So now when you're sitting in Funny Name's position, it's like, okay, I'm going to make you make a bad play so I could just take full of that. Right. Uh, we're going to see another flash cannon come out in the garden. It's going to get him. We do have the wide guard, so we do know that at least Mousehold is safe from Golden Go's uh, Make It Rain. Uh, but the Shadow Ball is not going to come back because there are normal type. It was intended for, intended yeah. for Gar Garden Out Gold. So, but now, I believe Refer doesn't have wide guard. So, I believe, technically speak, you have Make It Rain. Yeah. I, like, unless, unless somehow both of them are faster and can pull off about pretty much 70% of uh, Sports Joseph's health, then that's where you could probably see uh, Nerd Ninja surviving for as long as it can. I think we are seeing Nerd Ninja in a really tough spot. Just looking at some of those moves right there, yeah. I'm just not so sure there's going to be a whole lot that can happen here. So um, Craig is going to live, use Dark Pulse off Rafferick, and we are going to see the Make It Rain, and I think that's, that's GG's. It. Yep, that is GG. So Funny Name is going to take the victory 2-1. Two to one. Yeah, that's this, crazy. Oh my god, our first full Game 3, <laughs> and then Game 3 turned into a stall fest. Yeah, I, I was kind of curious. Uh, I don't know if it was a misplay or if it was just a read right? Uh, with Nerd Ninja trying to use the Super Fang on the Golden Go. Uh, because the Golden Go being ghost type, right. uh, none of the moves were going to actually do anything. It only had normal type moves. So that Golden Go was safe right. from the... <laughs> uh, unless he were to have used something like uh, Terra type, but... He didn't have Terra Blast, and he had already used Terra Type, so. I feel like it might have been a misplay because that was um, that was during the point where Funny Name hasn't Terra ter yet. Right. So I think he was baiting on Golden well, Go to Terra. Right. That's why I don't know if it was like a misplay or it was like an attempt at a read. Right. right? The attempt at the read would have been the fact that it was uh, an attempt to get them to Terra Type and right. then getting some damage off pretty early because. The Golden Go was sitting at about, like, what, 50% health for a while? 70. A left? 70? It was sitting at 70. Okay. So, that, so that's why I said, I was like, yeah, if somehow, like, if you could take out that Golden Go, go <laughs> Golden Go, 70% left, like, then.